Hello, this is Hope Kaya of SantaFeWebDesign.net and this is a short video on working with modules in Joomla 1.7, in particular custom HTML modules. Now if we look at the site for Santa Fe Chiropractor Barbara Turinen, SantaFeChiropractor.us, we'll see that there's content and on the right hand side here there's a testimonial. Now Many web designers like me like to put these right-hand columns into modules so that when a client goes into the article uh, to work, they're not actually dealing with a table and um, the risk of breaking a table. Um, everything is pretty much um, has its own integrity. And so, and the nice thing about having a separate module. I'm going to choose to outline my block level elements right now. Um, you can see how things are broken up here. Um, and the right hand column is quite separate from the left, from the, from the main content, right? Um, this is a plugin for Firefox, but I'm going to undo that. But um, another advantage for having this content go into a module is let's say you wanted the same testimonial to show up on another page or let's say you've ha you have another page that just doesn't have enough going on and you'd like to instantly be able to assign this testimonial to that page so that it gives it some visual um, interest and also gives it more credibility because you're adding the testimonial okay so we're going to look at how to get in there and um, edit those modules or assign them to different pages um, and unfortunately in Joomla you have to do this by logging into the back end of the website you cannot do it from the front end so you have to go to the administrative area and so we're going to show you the back end of this website and Let's say you have logged into the admin area of the website and then you choose Extensions Module Manager. Okay, and now you're looking at all the modules that are in your website, which is kind of overwhelming often, but you can choose to select the type and the ones we're working with that have text that we've put in there, or you can do it would be true if you just have say one image in there or a couple images as opposed to say a photo gallery or slideshow it's probably a custom HTML so now these are all the custom HTML modules that are available for this site and we're looking at the one that is on the home page and actually what I've done instead of say instead of give it a name that says home page I've just named it according to the actual client so if we go back to the home page and we look this is Audrey so now we're going to go again back to the um, admin area and you can see it's testimonial Audrey and it's nice to put the first word testimonial if there if there are going to be a bunch of testimonials then you can um, in, in modules, in columns, say on the right or left side of, a, of your web page, to put the first word as testimonial. Okay, That way you can have them all together when they're alphabetically organized. So let's click on Audrey and wait for it to open, which is taking its time, but we're patient extremely patient very patient with Comcast today hmm. <laughs> okay so here we have it and the text is showing up as code but it automatically then reloaded itself as um, J using the JCE content editor which I'm recommending to everybody to use for your Joomla websites uh, you can ask your web designer to install JCE Content Editor, or you can do it yourself, which gives you all these buttons more than you would with the tiny MCE default that comes with Joomla. It gives you lots of options. And then you can see these italics here, and you, when you highlight the text, you can see that I've assigned them as a cite, which means citation. And I did that by highlighting the text and then clicking on this quotation mark. 
And that, in, I have designed the, the styles, the, the cascading style sheets on Barbara's website so that whenever you assign text as a citation, it becomes Times New Roman in italic uh, so that you don't have to do that. Um, and I highly recommend that you, um, you have a website where you don't have to do a lot of formatting and selecting styles and um, because if you start messing around a lot, say with the font family or the font size or the styles, you, you can end up with a site that looks really jumbled with uh, an inconsistent and unprofessional. So it's best if you can do a minimum of formatting and have the style sheets take over uh, where you leave off. So your web designer will understand. Um, but I have assigned them as citation and I've told uh, this website how to format a citation in times using times so there we have it if you wanted to add another testimonial you could put some more text in here and then assign it as a citation by highlighting it and clicking on these quotation marks um, you can change you can fix the spelling you can add an image uh, but um, you know basically I just wanted to show you how to access a module, a custom HTML module. Now the other important thing is to say, well, where do you want that module to show up? And right now, we have two menus on this page. We have on this website the login menu at the bottom of every page and the main menu at the top of every page. So I just clicked on main menu. And you can see that this module is set to, to, to show only on the pages selected. So if Barbara decided, you know, I'd like this to show up in my, this testimonial to show up in my office info, all she would have to do is click on office info here, and that same testimonial would show up there, and she might like that, you know? Or um, on one of the, um, say, a te the testimonial section, well, which would be redundant, right? Because this is testimonial. Um, so, but you see what I'm saying is that when you tell a module, to only show up on the pages selected, then you have to select the pages where you want it to show up, and that's what we've done, and it's only, it's only gonna show up on the home page. So I'm scrolling back up to the top to say save. When you save something in Joomla 1.7, it, it makes it live on the web, but it also keeps you in this window in case you wanna keep making changes. When you save and close, then you've closed it. Now you're back looking at all the other modules. So now if you wanted to, you could create a new custom module by clicking on New. And then you could say Custom HTML by clicking on Custom HTML. And you could say Testimonial. <laughs> oh, maybe I'll do a testimonial. Give it a position of right, so it's in the right-hand column. And if you don't know what your positions are, what positions are available, you can select that button and then scroll through all your positions that are available. Um, I happen to know that right is the appropriate one for this uh, site. Or left, either way, it could be the right or the left. Uh, and then you would put a uh, quotation. And if you want, you can uh, put put some put some text and add a picture, right? And then you could highlight the text and say, "I want that to be a, a citation." Clicking on the quotation marks, you can ignore everything here. Update, and then. Save it. Oh, no, tell it. Okay, I would like this to go, oh, Joomla thinks I want it to go on every page on the website, but I only want it to go on the pages selected. Wow, they're all selected. So I'm going to toggle the selection, say I want none of them selected. I want to specifically put this on the contact page. See what I'm saying? And then I scroll to the top and I see, oh, Joomla's saying it wants to show this title, Testimonial Hope. Nah, I don't need to show that. But I do want it to be published, which is good, it's published. And I could now save it. And if I were to save it, and we were to go to, uh, was it the contact page? 
then instead of, well, in addition to, actually what would happen here is that Barbara's picture would move more over here and the testimonial would go, would go here. That I, it would just fill up the, the right column or left column depending on what you give it. I think we did right. Yeah, right. So um, I'm going to cancel this. But that's how you would edit or assign a module to an existing page or to a new page or create a new custom HTML module, just a basic one, right? I'm going to say cancel. Okay, so if you would like more tips, you can visit santafewebdesign.net and, uh, and sign up for my mailing list. You'll get some great tips on there too. Thanks very much. This is Hope Kaya of Santa Fe Web Design.